after the terrible re re revelations mm. about what happened. We've woken up on a dark and stormy night. I was going to say that. It's a good take. In the filth room. <laughs> And yes, we finally, I think, got to see real Jennifer. Because he's, he's just sort of pieced together the story that we were friends with Wendy, but you're only friends until she then killed our dog, I think? Yes. And um, we stood up to them all finally. They have, like, the reason she did it and stuff is, is explained sort of, I think, in this chapter or the next chapter in notes. We'll find out as we go. I think the first thing we're going to do is drop this pledge because we don't need it. <laughs> uh, what was the pledge again? Oh, was this was just the pledge of the uh, the club. aristocrat club. Yeah. It was do do we keep the dog food or the funeral? Or... I was gonna. I mean, I don't think there's anything new there. Wait, sorry. What did that say? The tale of the girl who buried her beloved friend alive. Which is not what happened. Lollipop. But we did find out that uh, far from the very nice person that Wendy seemed, she's actually the princess at the top of the society. Yeah. Oh, is this another book? What, what did we just pick up? <laughs> The funeral is the one that we've had from the last Is it just a lollipop? Area. It looks like a key. It does, yes. Ah. So we could drop the funeral. Jennifer found Stray Dog. Stray Dog and the Lying Princess. That's the Stray Dog there. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who told lies. She liked to scare the other girls by screaming, Stray dog is coming! Stray dog is coming! But soon, everyone stopped being scared. They hated the way that she lied. One day, the girl came home screaming, Stray dog is coming, really? Everyone thought it was just another lie. Except this time, it was no lie at all. And so they were all gobbled up. The end. That's a rather graphic picture there of uh, a stray dog eating children. Mm. And of course, that tale, we should all recognise that uh, tale in that. That's, um, of course, Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> no, it's not. It's the Biocride Wolf. We know that. There we go. We've just saved, so I'm not sure we need to again. No, are we dropping the stray dog as well, or keeping it? Or? Uh, yes, we'll put the dog down. <laughs> oh, wait, let's look at it first, because sometimes it gives you extra detail. The tale of a girl's lie coming true. I wonder if you're supposed to infer that it was... Is Wendy the one who would always lie, or are you? Or... Wendy, I think, yeah. Wendy, right. Some suspicious giggling. Olivia will cry. Wait, where's she gone? Yeah, I'm sort of saying I think you walked right past her. <laughs> oh, are we now the queen? Because we hit the queen, I suppose. <laughs> is that how that works? I think it is, yes. 
I'm not sure how much I should explore. Because it feels like we've been fairly thorough. Oh, well, the stuff. Yeah, maybe explore a bit if you want some extra collectibles. We'll loop anyway. There's no dice. Then we get to experience this wonderful uh, stormy atmosphere. Absolutely. And also, this is clearly a, a dampening down of atmosphere after what we've seen so far. Mm. Yeah, there's something on the table there, yeah? Probably going to try and go upstairs as well. Okay. And there's there's the other, other side of this floor too. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, up here doesn't lead anywhere else anyway. I doubt I'm going to be able to do anything up here. Okay, in which case I'm going to have to go back around. Just try the other other side of that door, where um, the crying girl was. Which is fine, because that'll take us downstairs either way. Let's just run Did right across, that's where you came out. I thought it was through oh. here. Oh, maybe it was then, yeah. Sorry. Can't do it either way. Downstairs it is. Or do I want to go downstairs to the rear one? <sighs> Can we even go down here? Isn't it still blocked off? <laughs> that door behind us will lead to the rear staircase area either way, or are you just going to go for it? Oh no, no, I'm going to go everywhere first. Ah, interesting. That should be the reception. All the way to the toilet. And the front door, obviously. I guess we've got to go where mm. Amanda is. Well, I don't know. I'm quite tempted to loop around to the reverse. The reverse? Well, go for it if you want to. Simply then, yeah. because it's not letting us go there other ways, and I kind of thought it would. So, yeah, I'm just going to have a quick look. See, we are courtyard and then we can go around the other side of this um thing, yeah. Oh. oh. In a court. Do we get to see what it's like when it's raining then? Yes. But nothing out here. I wouldn't trust her as far as I could throw her. Can't think why. Oh, you can move, I think. There's something on the table behind all of those girls. My god, thunder. Never, it doesn't thunder this frequently. Huh. The three. Ooh. 
Greetings. Princess, please forgive all that I've done. Greetings, Princess Jennifer. Thank you very much for coming to our new aristocrat club. Greetings, Princess Jennifer. From now on, you'll be our new princess. Now, Princess, please think up a new game. Please lead us. We are yours to command, Princess. Princess, go ahead. Guide us. We need you. We don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, look. Look, it's windy. It's windy. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I did notice the board. It says the stray dog legend. This is just Wendy's lie. And yes, they're all cozying up to you because you went, no, I'm not having this anymore. Well, because you don't know how much of this is childhood imagination and how much of it is real, which is quite deliberate. Oh, yeah. So it's like, maybe they weren't that bad. Did they actually kill all of these animals? Or was it just dolls of the animals? Yeah. Um, like, is it just a club where they think of games to play? There's a lot of, not just being a girl, but a lot of childhood, yes, is weird imagination play. But definitely when you're a girl, it feels like there's a lot of extra weird imagination play. That was a squeal. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if you want to go right into the hallway or what. Is that where we're supposed to, do you think? That's where we came in and that's possibly, yes, where the game wants us to go. What? So there's a Gregory who's a monster. Don't think we have a weapon equipped, yeah. Let's uh, fix that right away. Yes, there was someone with him pointing him to us. He looks like he's got rope marks all over him without actually, other than the rope around his neck. didn't really do any damage. No, it might be if he gets a, a different style of attack off on us. Just knocking us back doesn't seem too bad. Same as again, it's like I can imagine he didn't really show up and growl at them and kill them like a dog. He would have sh showed up and like shot them all or something awful. Because we know from the news article that he sh someone showed up and killed all the orphans. checking your health? Oh, yes. Although it's not so bad. Because I wouldn't want, you know, 
one fell swoop to down us. Yes, he is helpfully distracted by dog. In the butt. Oh, still got me. Yes, he has rather a large hitbox. It was if you remove the brown item from find and just say go, does he aggressively attack? Oh, I've you told him to, to stay. Uh, sorry, I've, I've told him to come, you need not to find. Heal him, I think, if you can. Uh, I could do. I'm getting out of the way. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm thinking shake like you would normally. Ha! But brown? Yeah! Ken has dog again. Uh... Do you want to see if we can save her? Are we still good? Or? Wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. Wait, wait, move away, move away, move away. Turn, turn, turn. Thinking, move, but not so far that he follows. Because then he. Yeah. Come. I know there's some places you just can't seem to do it. Yeah. And I suspect this is one of them. Uh, that would be saving, yes, if you can get in it. You can't, so. To the front door, I suspect. Can I do any of these? Anyway, we're supposed to obviously go out here. Chase after that strange child. Aha! Front gate. Because you wouldn't love me, because you were so stubborn, I brought you here. Because you fell in love with Brown, because you didn't realise it was me, I brought Stray Dog here. But I, I... Please stop him with this. Only you and your beloved dog can stop him. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jennifer Vane Gregory's gun. Gregory's gun. Oof, let's get away from that for a bit. Knocks down the dog immediately. <sighs> Poor dog, no! And yes, um, all of the clothes strewn about are uh, the other children. Absolutely. Well, at least we have a nice amount of room to work with. Probably nicer than just having corpses there. Yeah. And you're not sure how much of that again is childhood Real. imagination or just blocking painful memories. Yeah. Oh, we could look at the gun as well. Gregory's gun. There are beautiful engravings on it. Engravings not in screenshot. Because <laughs> it is it's identical to the, yeah, it's the revolver. Just the same model. So the the difference is is that um we're supposed to use it, but that doesn't necessarily mean shooting them. In fact, if you beat them with combat, you get the bad ending, which we'll show you later. Instead we're gonna try and get the good ending, which means we need to use it when he is available or amenable to having it used. He has an animation. 
Yeah, I'm thinking, do you just outright wait, or do you have to hit him a little? I'm sorry. Joshua. Oh, there. That's it. I'm sorry, Joshua. Yeah. And then we can just use this. I'm sorry, Joshua. Hmm. Yes. So here we are back in the game. There's another chapter. Mm. If you get the bad ending, there isn't. Um, and this is sort of going to try and explain what's been going on in a bit more of a sensible way than the very disjointed version we've just had there. Yeah, because we're back in the filth room, but this is all like sepia filtered and we're actually a little girl this time. There's a lollipop on the bookcase too. So we still have an axe though. Yes, we still have all oh, we, we can't, can't equip, equip it. it. We still have all of our equipment. I must actually show this being used at some point as well. So we have something hidden over here. Lipsies. This letter looks familiar. Yes, it's one of the secret letters that Wendy and I traded. Oh, there's a few of these. So this is from W to J. I think we can read W as Wendy and J as Jennifer. Uh, so it says, My dear Jennifer, there is nothing to fear. I am always by your side. I will never betray you. We made an oath, remember? 25th of July, my dear Jennifer, I'm so relieved that you are well again. Is that why I couldn't find you yesterday morning? It's no use trying to fool me. I can see right through your pranks. Anyway, thanks in advance. Tee hee hee. Actually wrote tee hee hee. <laughs> uh, again, from Wendy to Jennifer. Thank you for introducing me to Brown. But such a filthy dog is not a good match for you and me. Just give it to Nicholas or something and let's be content with just the two of us. Oh, trouble in paradise. Uh, my stubborn Jennifer, is Brown that important to you? It's just a dog, a filthy animal. Please stop sharing your wonderful smile with that thing. Please smile only at me. Jennifer the Heartless, why didn't you come? I waited and waited for you. Why can't I see you every morning? I think only of you. Are you avoiding me? Wendy. You were always so lonely. Poor lonely Wendy. I wonder if my letters ever reached her. And we have Jennifer found once upon a... Once upon a time.
Well, that was tough to read. A strange little book, yes. Or does this say anything now? It's the detested rubbish bin. No one ever suspected that something precious was hidden inside it. Nor did they know that it was the only place where I could keep my things safe. How is that the logic? You sort of hide your stuff under the rubbish. Yeah. It's just the only place it's safe. When I came here, this suitcase was the only luggage I had. I lost everything in the accident. My mother, my father, all my possessions, and even my memories. I'll have to make sure to click on absolutely everything. Yeah. Oh. Including the window. Oh, it's lovely with the curtains moving. I spent so much time in this room. Who knows how many times I woke up here. The nights were lonely and cold, but you'd always greet me in the morning. Only you greeted me warmly. Thank you so. It feels as if something very dear to me was here. Someone or something that always looked after me, helped me. I think it's because that's where the bucket was, more than the picture, yeah. I was wondering, actually, yeah. yeah. Tied to this pillar, unable to move, I was all alone. It took a while, but I finally freed myself. I was always the slow poke. But that won't happen again. I'll never let myself be tied up again. Right. I think that's everything. <laughs> so a lot of things to click on. There's nothing on this chair, is there? No? Okay. I don't know how much of the orphanage we're going to have to wear. Uh, Look around. Bucket night. A makeshift night that Nicholas and Xavier used for sword practice. Though they may have forgotten about it, I've always remembered. For I yearned for a loyal knight to come to my rescue. This is the only time we can click on this. We're watching you. That's what the picture meant. But it was still scary. Everyone would put their dirty laundry here, and it was my job to wash it. How ironic. The one they called filthy, washing their filthy clothes. It all seems so silly now. Also, washing clothes by hand is a pretty serious job for a small child. <laughs> Go around the doors, maybe, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt there's much to click on in here, though. There never was. I have a brief zoot around, though. A mermaid doll. 
What a proud and pure creature. Diana yearned to become a beautiful lady, like a mermaid. But as she grew older, she realised that she was straying further and further from her ideal self. Poor Diana. She was trapped by her own ideals. Hmm. The night was quiet, dark and scary. Yet it was a mysterious time that aroused excitement. Some nights we'd stay awake in secret, hiding from the teacher and draw pictures by lamplight. It made us feel very much like adults, something not possible during the day. Amanda was fond of using the sewing machine. When she got absorbed in something, she'd think of nothing else. Especially sewing, which was always on her mind. If we ran out of cloth or thread, she'd just sew rags. With an empty needle. Over and over again. And then she'd smile at the tattered rag with satisfaction. Oh, Strangely acknowledging that that would be very weird, um, compulsive behaviour, yeah. I was thinking the doll in the basket, but it's not really doing you, You'd think that that would be, like, the main focus, wouldn't you? But no, it isn't. You can't, you can't do anything with it. It's a stuffed goat, the white goat Mary, the black goat Sally. When Meg found her letter to Diana torn apart, she was deeply wounded and cried in Diana's arms. Even though she was the one who ripped it up, and when Meg's notebook was found all scattered about, Diana made fun of her, saying Mary and Sally must have ate it. Poor Meg. She was bound by the shackles of foolish devotion. Well, because to be fair, when you're stuck in an orphanage, you have very little choice about your friends. Exactly, yeah. In fact, it's quite nice that she's going through these people and she's feeling sorry for them. Yeah, yeah. The future that people dreamt of never came and was soon forgotten. From the blue skies of hope it sank into the depths of oblivion. The new life born from it was an existence devoid of hope. It slowly wriggles its large body and stares at the sky with a remorseful look. That's its only purpose. Because mm -hmm. yes, I, I very much get a feeling of sort of um, being all alone in the orphanage is not is a lot worse than being friends with horrible people, so they were all friends with each other anyway, even though they all didn't enjoy it. But they didn't have a very happy life, you know? That was a good bar there. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going right up. Mostly just making sure. Yeah, yeah. Because there should be play area here, and then we could do the other other side of this level. Should I not go down the rear stairs? Probably not.
I've often wondered about those holes. Were those holes there and he drew the train tracks up to them? Or did he draw the train tracks up to them and then make the holes? I would assume the holes were there. Simply because that sort of fits in with the run down the place would have rats maybe. Oh yeah, can you go up to the other side of those dolls and click on them? I can, but I haven't been able to click on anything. Oh, here we go. Thomas was always playing with his trains. They were his only friends. There were no final stops on his railroad, so that would be devastating to him. It's rumoured that this obsession had something to do with his birth, but Thomas never spoke about it with anyone. No one really played with the toys here because they were all old. Only Thomas was the master of this room. A new girl, a new girl, he exclaimed when he first met. When we first met, I should say. He seemed to enjoy teasing me. Mm -hmm. There you go. I thought nothing was going to say anything and I'm like, oh, that was pointless. Sometimes it's just a bit hard to get that correct spot. We want to go forward because the door to our right is back into the stairwell. Like the, the main, main stairwell. Just generally rubbing myself on everything. Clara was a quiet person. To me, she looked like just another student at the orphanage. Except when she spoke to Mr. Hoffman or Martha, then she looked scary. I wonder if I'll be like Clara when I'm older. Will I enjoy those days? Yes, admittedly, but living like that, it doesn't sound like growing up is something you'd want to do. Well, we'll go into the next room, apparently. You look like you are pretty thorough. <laughs> and it's interesting seeing the rooms finally as they were supposed to look, so there's no, like, weird pictures up. Mm. Things just look kind of shabby. That looks like a letter. This letter looks familiar. Yes, it's one of the secret letters that Wendy and I traded. 